I'm enjoying doing one of these tonight, so let's continue. This is Filtration Plant by King Spoon! I think that's how you say that. And uh, it's going to be a fairly long one. This is uh, 219 monsters. Uh, and already it's looking quite good. Oh, always check behind you. Always check behind you for the chainsaw. Um, already it's looking really nice with these uh, ramped uh, diagonal textures and uh, everything and some guards facing the wrong way. Uh, it looks like they're going to flood me as soon as I start shooting, so uh, let's just make a start. That was miraculous. Just uh, someone who was a bit off his aim that day. Well, oh, Cacodemon, here we go. Okay. This is interesting so far. Oh, is that is that the um Yeah, that's the that's the sort of grid floor texture used as glass. Which is kind of unusual, but it does work for this sort of uh, slightly uh, frosted uh, square glass texture. Whoa! Okay. I wasn't expecting that to work. I was just testing the uh, blocking of the line, but uh, uh, apparently jumping, crouching, and uh, free look is allowed on this map, so... Uh, hopefully I haven't uh, sequence broken in any way. We'll see. I do like the little uh, inset door there and the dynamic lights around it. But in fact, this is very dynamic light happy. I'm, uh, I love dynamic lights. I try to, uh, to kind of rein myself in and to only have a couple per room, but uh, I frequently go mad with them. All right, okay, so this was the uh, proper way down. Looks like we're going to have to get rid of these bars at some point. I do, I do like this uh, scenery. All right, can't open either of those yet, but we'll see. Same for that one? Okay. I'm enjoying these ramps. Look at the, look how these lights are constructed. The uh, uh, the bright sector in the middle with the dynamic light to help them out. All right, red card obviously. That's a yellow card. That's a red card. Looks like we're not meant to go through this way yet. Hmm. So where have I not been? That's okay, that's okay. Couldn't open those. Those bars I needed to come back to. Oh, I haven't uh, been along to the end up here. Oh, I like the, um... I like the way that this uh, looks over that. Oh, how do you get there? Oh, okay. Happened with oh, wow, look at that. And there's, um, some, some giant sort of, uh, kitchen blenders over there that are, uh, mixing all this together. Very nice. So am I meant to jump across to there, do you think? Let's see what this does first. There you go. Being able to um, walk over the computers is a bit weird. And I've had that problem myself because uh, you, didn't, you don't think you should be able to step up, uh, what is it, 24 units. If you make that 25 units high, just nudge it up a little in uh, the editor then you get uh, a more solid seeming computer that you can't uh, fall off. Oh, look at this. There's a, there's a little garden area. Who's ruining the nice day? All right, there we go. I need something long range there. Okay. Uh, he was not so fortunate. Nice little fountain here.
Just a lot of items to... Oh, that's another thing that Penny started saying. Just out of nowhere, when we, we were playing uh, Shantae and the uh, Seven Sirens, and uh, I got a, a nugget from a chest or something, and she said, we're fairly hoovering up these. And uh, obviously, I must have uh, I must have said that. So that's what I was thinking just now, that uh, I was just going around hoovering up uh, the items from the courtyard. All right, let's have a look through here. I do like the aesthetics of this map a lot. Whoa! Because it, it's it's very classic styled, but it's got its own it's got its own flavour to it as well. You wouldn't see the the um, light pillars jutting out of the uh, brick texture in uh, the original Doom 2. Looks like I'm going to... Oh no, th this is a jump. Okay. Oh, I'm being punished for my uh, enterprising jumping. Not much, though. I thought more monsters were going to teleport in than that. Let's go back to the uh, sub shotgun for a moment. Okay, here we go. I'm just uh, strafe uh, jumping, strafe running, whatever you call it, out of uh, habit. Forgetting that I am actually allowed to jump. All right. Big warehouse here. It's like being at a big uh, B&Q distribution centre. That door looks a bit weird. Um, <laughs> it's... I get what you're going for, but the door doesn't fit the texture. You, you might have been better off just redrawing that. Uh, to get a bigger door out of it. I don't know, though. Oh, look at all these. That, that this You're taking some care here. Nice little uh, construction in the middle. I do love ramps, slope surfaces. Need to use them more. Because there's something that feels very modern. <laughs> I, I, cause I, because I am still stuck in the early 90s, and uh, having having uh, things that can slope one way and another is, frankly, the height of technology. All right, so uh, I thought I would uh, cheat you there, but uh, it's, it's not as easy as I thought to strafe around that entire distance. Let's see. Was, I'm pretty sure there was something else here I didn't uh, I didn't go for when I had the chance. I haven't found any keys yet. Hmm. Wonder if it would be a wise choice to just dive overboard and see if I could find a way over. Let's try that again, just... Oh, no, I can't. Okay. All right, then. Let's um, let's just have a look around at the uh, nuked air there. Uh, sorry. The <laughs> two words just got tangled together in my mouth. Nuked area. Oh, that's clever. All right, so uh, that's definitely not the way to go. Let's uh, find a way back here. See if there's uh, one way or another I missed. Hmm. Did I? Yeah, I did. Tra I did travel over here because that was where the yellow door was. And the, look, look at all these. Um, how's that done? Is that just a texture, a mid texture, or a fog? A fog? Maybe it's a lighting fog effect. That's really nice. All right, so how, oh, th look at that! All right, 
That was uh, <laughs> a mild case of uh, overlooking a switch on my side. Sometimes it helps to point out a switch with a dynamic light, because uh, at no point in this do you face it, in, in this exploration uh, that you would naturally do. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just stupid. That's uh, always a possibility as well. Let's see. Well... could possibly do with some monster blocking lines around the edges of this uh, so that they don't uh, get up onto the onto the uh, trim skirting board whatever you want to call it oh I was I was just thinking that I'll get the imp to infight him first, forgetting that of course the imp would be utterly annihilated. All right, okay. There we go. Time for some rockets. <laughs> okay. I saw a red door immediately next to the red key. Oh. That looks like it's going to be a bit of a fight later on. And uh, that switch, obviously, you need a blue card for. I like... Uh, I like the... Um, I suppose the variation in the, the... The rooms are very... In fact, the rooms are very, very square. Let me look at the map. Yeah, look at how square everything is. Which is... um, But you don't really notice it because within each room you've um, you've got all these uh, decorations and differences. It, lo it looks like a very utilitarian uh, building warehouse thing. This is pretty much this is pretty much how it would be constructed with these offices on the top floor, and um, yeah, all of that. It's kind of, it's it's kind of an unusual design, but I think it works really well. Oh, okay. So this looped me back around here, so I can go into this new area. Well, okay. I see a pain elemental. Well, let's stop that now, because there are lost souls around, and lost souls and rockets do not mix. All right, I may, I may have uh, bit off more than I can chew a bit, um, just by going so far in there to, for the sake of getting the pain elemental before everything else. Let's see. Okay, and there was a lost soul that went somewhere along here, but uh, he might have just smashed on the wall. Oh, wow, look at those. This must be poly objects, because they're moving horizontally. Everything in the map's really big. It, it, it feels, well... I'm not really sure how to articulate this, because it feels really big, because it is really big. All these uh, super-sized um, pillars and poured concrete and everything. But I'm very much the opposite. I make my maps too small. This really lets you use the uh, speed you've got. Where'd that come from? Or was it all the way over there? 
Let me fire a few rockets in that direction. All right, that'll do them for now. Can we get over there yet? No. Okay, so I suppose the yellow door will lead me there. <clears throat> hmm. A bit unclear sometimes which doors you can open and which doors you can't, but uh, that isn't unique to this map. It is a difficult problem to solve if you're using uh, default Doom textures in any scenario. Uh, how how do you suppose I get across there? I'm not I'm not missing an incredibly obvious switch like I was last time. Hmm. Oh, there it was. Yeah, maybe some maybe some more highlighting of where switches are could be quite good throughout this map. Uh oh. Well, this is a difficulty spike, isn't it? Oh, okay, let's just uh, use these rocket powered legs and uh, get out of there quick. Come on, around the corner. Ooh, where'd he come from? Hilaire, I thought he saw a Hell Knight. Yeah, the, the debate around... Ah, the debate around whether to use stealth enemies... ...rages on. And that's an example of uh, why you might not like them. <laughs> the thing is, I was hiding around the corner. I was waiting to see him and then realised I would. Uh, okay. I was uh, gliding past a uh, nice big health pickup. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, until that very moment, I was going to say I've been about 90% this whole map, which is very unusual for me, so... It might need a boost in the challenge department, but uh, but no, this was... Oh! Every time, at least at least half an hour after the monster's uh, already dead. There he goes. Ben is being able to start uh, playing some games with some purpose now. Uh, not a lot of dexterity, but definitely purpose. She, she knows she wants to go somewhere and she can control someone to get there. If she doesn't have to press two buttons at once at any point, uh, she, she can definitely do it. She loves, in a short hike just now, she loves uh, crashing the boat into things. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's um, that's an indicator of what that that's an indicator of what that switch did, and I think that's a camera texture. I haven't really experimented with those myself. Keep on forgetting that they're a possibility. So I opened, yeah, this is what I opened. <laughs> I just, I suppose, I find it slightly funny. There's no camera there to. Uh, to have produced that image. Oh, yeah, like I was saying, Penny loves uh, a short hike. We play that together. We read the dialogue together. She loves being at the controls of the boat and crashing it into walls because the uh, deer at the front, it, it, her eyes pop out when you crash. Okay. Oh, look at these. Hexagon cutaways, you'll... You'll always earn my respect with those. Oh. 
I'm thinking about what I said earlier about the challenge department for this map, and uh, the truth is I really like maps where I can just cruise through them on 90% health all the time. The different people like different uh, amounts of ease in their games. That was a very nice pillar up, down thing. Okay, so that let me out there. So this, ah, it, it flows together wonderfully. So this goes here. Let's uh, quick save here because there's bound to be, yep, yeah, some monsters. The escalation in this map is pretty good. I think the the the, the horde of monsters coming out after going to that uh, computer island uh, was a bit of a spike. But uh, you know, you start off with the grunts and then you get you upgrade to some of the tougher demons and then revenants and monacubus the businesses come out. Ooh. I'm not going to get on the wrong side of him. And the wrong side is the front. That was a cacodemon's hiss. Right, hoping I'm not attracting too many other monsters with the noise. Oh. Lucky. Yep. All right. Um, let's see now. Okay. This is, it is honestly one of the, it's one of the squarest maps I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> everything's, everything's rectangular. It works though. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Sorry, I've, I've got to check to see. Oh no, I can't get up to those. I can't, I was, I was going to check to see if, um, you could just jump from there to the yellow key and skip loads of the level, but you can't jump up to the top level of crates from here. All right, yellow key, that was over here. Oh, look at that, that's a 3D floor. Oh yeah, this bit. Uh, didn't have the luck to find the plasma cannon yet. That's not his name, is it? But that'd be good though. It's just a, it's just a rifle or a gun. Uh, I think something bigger is going to come through at some point. It's beginning to look that way. I'll get him. Let me just soften them up for me. That'd be nice. Oh. Caught a bit of uh, plasma there, or fireball, or whatever it was, but... Uh, there's more than a, there's more than enough health to keep me going. In fact, I don't want to waste any because uh, I'll waste a whole medikit on the one percent health. Look at that! The the uh, lights jutting out from the texture. All right, uh, I think I've got blue armor and sixty three percent. So do I need a green armor? Well, uh, who knows really? Without a degree from. Uh, MIT and I'll send that off to IBM and they'll be with you shortly. I'm going to trust that uh, having 73 armor is pretty good. I hear a spider mastermind. Where are you? Well, she's behind there, but I don't know how to open it. Uh, hmm. There was another yellow door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just retrace my steps for a moment. Because there was another yellow door in the uh, little cubby around here.
Uh, where was it? That's where I came in. Yeah, here. Yeah, I haven't been here. It's odd, I seem to have um, run out of monsters. I mean, they've got yeah, I've got only 16 monsters left. It just uh, seems that after a long time of dealing with a lot of monsters, I, I suppose I, I suppose I got them from a distance. Well, yo, you bastard! Okay, so uh, maybe we are using stealth monsters. <laughs> Okay, so that's got me up to... This is back where the blue switch was, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what's through here? Oh, a bit more than I expected. Nothing I can't handle. But I nearly was unable to handle that because I got stuck in the corner. There we go. Spooky! Alright, I know exactly where to use that. I do like how uh, this map's set up so it all loops around back on itself. That's uh, that's really nice to the player, not making them travel through uh, dead areas. There! Oh, I thought I heard a spider mastermind, but uh, it's not there. <laughs> that's probably bad news. All right, let's go all the way round and back down. There she is, with all the hit scanners in the world. Okay, Spider Man's mind is, of course. Uh, oh, why? Why do I even open my mouth on these things, honestly? So this is a relatively easy place to have cyber demons because you've got plenty of room for circle strafing. The dangers are getting caught on a lost soul or a pillar. So you just need to be aware of the space around you. Well, it would have been gone by now. One. Two, okay. Is that all of them? No, there's another wave. Can I just uh, slip through the teleport <laughs> while nobody's looking? Just to uh, grab some stuff over here. I'm basically wanting to uh, goad the cyber demons and spider man. Oh, they're fighting each other. That's great. Um, I'm thinking, should I leave or, or, uh, there we go. Because I do want to, I do want to see, uh, what's at the end of this boss rush. So that was what, one, uh, spider mastermind, then two cyber demons, then two cyber demons and a spider mastermind.
She called herself the Spider Mastermind, but she only gave herself four legs, so uh, who's the Mastermind now? Oh, do I have any more uh, cells around? Yeah, here we go. Is that all of you? All right. All right, there's still uh, 14 monsters hidden somewhere, but uh, it looks like we're going to take our exit. <laughs> what was happening there? <laughs> all right, that was a that was a really nice map. Uh, lengthy boss at the end. Uh, None of it was particularly difficult, uh, but then I like that. Uh, even in the big boss area, there was plenty of room to move around, plenty of ammunition, plenty of health to keep you going. Uh, yeah, oddly, the decoration's really good, even though the map is really square. It's this, it's this um, odd merging of styles that usually, you know, a beginner maps they're very square, but they don't have a lot of decoration, and usually. Uh, more advanced maps have a lot of decoration and they're not very square but this one combined them both um and it was a, it was a very interesting map so oh here we go congratulations on completing this map i hope you enjoyed playing it as much as i did making it i bet you're wondering why i'm breaking the fourth wall here well here's the thing i have another mod in the works this one's big yeah, I know, telling you about it in here ain't very cool, but would you known about it any other way? Maybe, but that's not the point. Anyways, this new mod that I'm calling Spectre is going to be the mod I've wanted for a while. A whole eight maps, plus a secret map, new weapons, new mo, uh, new music. This is what drives me crazy about uh, having to write for this uh, intermission page, by the way, because it doesn't, it doesn't um, do line breaks. Uh, and you have to insert them completely yourself, and then you have to take, keep track of everyone's uh, resolutions. And uh, anyway, uh, whole eight maps, new weapons, new, um, new, I don't know, new music, no, new monsters, new music, no particular theme in mind, just some cool stuff to play with. I can't wait to finish and let you play it. The music is pretty much so. If you want to take a listen to it, you can check it out on my YouTube channel, Emperor Spoon, where you can also follow the uh, development of the mod itself. Again, I hope you enjoyed playing this map and keep an eye out for a version of Spectre in Bridgeburner's Discord server. I certainly will, because this was a really nice map, and uh, I'm definitely looking forward to Spectre. And uh, maybe I'll get to play it when it comes out. Thank you very much.